Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for being with us today. I am actually pretty excited about today. I know I say that at the beginning of every video, but we are doing something that is um, one of my favorite things to do on this channel, which is open up a subscription box. I love doing it. I love the subscriptions that I have. I don't have like a ton of them at the moment, but I've got enough that it's always exciting. It's like a little like mini Christmas or birthday, like at the beginning of the month every month. So I love it at the beginning of the month when I get to do these and at the end of the month when we get our credit card bill, I'm like, but uh, today we're doing the Boxy Charm one. You guys know I have been incredibly disappointed with Boxy Charm for the past couple months. We did when they upped their prices to 25 per box, we decided to price lock ourselves in for the year long subscription. So it doesn't matter how disappointed we are, we are trugging along for at least the next, uh, after this one, 10 months. I actually have really high hopes for this box. I've seen a lot about the spoilers and the um, variations on their Instagram. And I actually really like all of the options that are available. Everything I've seen, I'm like, I'd be pretty happy if I got that. I think it's with our price locking in, the box was $19 per box. So I think just from what I've seen that I know everybody gets and then the variations, the different variations that are possible to receive. I think no matter what, it's going to be worthwhile at $19. Um, I do have to say, I know everybody is getting a palette and my last palette that I received had a nice little nick in it. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen anymore. But uh, without further ado, here is the BoxyCharm box. It is nice and big. I'm assuming that is because of that palette that I said that everybody will be receiving this month, but who knows what else lies in this little black box of mystery. So without any further ado, let's jump right on into it. Uh, I did bring a pair of scissors this time, so I didn't stab myself because uh, I've done that the past couple times I've tried to open boxes. It looks like the inside of the box is a little different. It looks like it's red. The box this month is stellar. I don't normally look at a little cheat card just because I want to kind of unwrap everything like a little mystery. I'm going to leave that off to the side. I did see that every person who got a box received this pretty vulgar uh, lightweight concealer testing card. So you can try different concealers. We've gotten a couple products from Pretty Vulgar in the past. I know I've gotten a blush and a bronzer from them before and I really like both of those. So that might be a cool little thing to try. Um, especially like I've seen a lot of people who do like full faces with sample sizes and I kind of want to do that. So that might be something we use for that. Moving along into the actual good stuff part of this. So, okay, already I just see a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm just going to grab. First thing I see is a little beauty blender from Illuminati. They call it a cosmetic sponge. I guess I can't call it a beauty blender because it's not beauty blender brand, but uh, my box is destroyed. Can you see that? I mean, it doesn't really matter because it's not a product that I'm worried about getting hurt, but it's just kind of funny because it was like, I guess it was dropped. I don't know. I don't know how that happened, but it's literally like, they look at that. Like it looks like alien burst out of it. Like the chest of some scientist. The sponge itself, it's a, it's a little bit of like a tougher sponge in terms of feeling. I don't know how it's going to feel once you wet it, but it's got like a good amount of like elasticity, if that makes sense. Like it's got a bunch of bounce back on it. Um, and it's a decent size. Uh, I would say this would probably be good if you wanted to use it as a foundation sponge. That's probably what I would use it for. Potentially I might use it for a contour sponge as well. Like, especially when I'm using a liquid contour or a cream contour, I might be able to, uh, to go in there and kind of blend it out a little bit easier than using a brush. But uh, overall, I like getting sponges. I really like using sponges, so I'm happy getting this. Um, I don't know what the retail value is at all, but I would say on average, you're probably pay paying like 10 to $15 for one of those sponges. So already good start to the box. Oh my gosh, this is giant. Okay, I'm really excited about this. I didn't even know this is one of the potential items, but this is a holographic stick from Milk Makeup. Of course, it's full size, so it's a very good size. Uh, now getting into it, I don't know how to do that, but it, oh, oh, figured it out. Okay, Milk Makeup, they are known for this kind of packaging. It reminds me, I, I know Yes2 kind of went off of this, but because I don't really have a lot of Milk Makeup products, but I have a good amount of the Yes2 products. It reminds me of the really nice Yes2 um, primer that I have that I love so much, but with it, you can see you just get an absolute ton of product in it, and it is a highlighting stick. Stick. And I don't normally like highlighting sticks, but um, I'm really excited to try this one. I'm going to swatch it just to see like how it looks and oh, can you see it? It's like so pretty, right? Nikki's response means hopefully you guys can really see it on camera, but that is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Really creamy feeling. Um, when I blend it in, it really absorbs nicely without feeling sticky on the skin, which is part of why I don't like this kind of cream, um, highlight shades is because I, uh, I, I often feel like it leaves you feeling like 
slimy afterwards if that makes sense so i'm really really excited about this already worthwhile in terms of this box especially knowing what is uh, left these honestly are probably like the additional ones not like the main items so really excited i have to say um i'm very impressed with so far this boxy this boxy uh charm the the month has, has been much better than the months in the past <laughs> this one is another big one this is the juice beauty stem seller cellular anti-wrinkle eye treatment. If you know anything about Juice Beauty, you know that they are really coveted in the makeup community in terms of skincare and keeping um, like anti-aging at bay and all of that stuff. And um, I, once again, I am always a big advocate for it's never too early to start anti-aging regimens just because it is better to be continuously um, keeping your skin and your collagen levels high, even at a young age, uh, rather than trying to combat it when it's already a little bit too late. Of course, with this, this is um, this is a pricey product. I don't know exactly what the cost of it is, but um, I'm believing most people are probably gonna play close to like 70 or 80 dollars for this little guy so this is a really really good asset in the box um, especially considering of course it is a full size of it so i'm very excited about that one my mom actually talked about with ipsy the ultimate i think guaranteed you're going to get a full size juice beauty product she actually considered doing it for this month just to make sure she could get it um, she did not wind up doing that this is a totally tangent subject but that's just how good of a product that, that one is. The next thing that I got is a full-size dose cosmetic uh, lipstick. It is in the shade Date Night, which I don't know if you guys can see, it is a very red shade. Probably not what I would have chosen if I were picking it out for myself. That being said, it is fall time. It is coming up on Christmas time. And I always like having a nice red lip to do around this time of year. I love Dose uh, Cosmetics for their lip colors and most of the lip colors I have from them right now are neutral shades. So there is no chance that I have anything that is remotely like this. So yeah, I am actually, as much as this, I wanna say like, this is not what I would choose for myself. I'm excited about, oh yeah, that's really pretty. So that's what it looks like. A really nice, pretty deep red. I think it's gonna be a really nice asset for, like I said, that holiday season, Christmas parties, New Year's, things where you really would like uh, a nice glittery eye and a bold lip look. I have a couple ideas planned for videos and tutorials to show for Christmas time party looks, for uh, New Year's party looks, things like that. So I think this will probably wind up making it into one of those videos. So even though it's not a color that I would buy for myself normally, I'm actually very happy to get it. Um, because I often feel like if I'm going to get a really vibrant red that I would not ever buy for myself, it's kind of nice to get it into a beauty box where I'm getting some other things that I know I'm going to use. And then I also pick up something that I need, at least occasionally, um, but I'm never gonna buy for myself. Like I said, right now, really pretty happy with this box. Okay, this is the final product. This is the one I'm most excited for. I believe, like I said, everybody got one of these in their box, uh, which I think is a very intelligent on BoxyCharm's behalf to go ahead and say, hey, everybody's gonna get this one product that we think that everybody is going to really want. So that way everybody at least is not like, why didn't I get the eyeshadow palette? Because that's how I would be. If I if I know that there is an eyeshadow palette option out there and I don't receive it, I get really uh, bitter, <laughs> very bitter, really salty. This is the Celestial Thunder from Dominique Cosmetics palette. The colors that I have seen. Now, I will say I did see this on Sephora's website. I believe this is actually a smaller version, like a condensed version of the actual palette. I may be wrong about that, but on the website, on Sephora's website, it looked like it actually had like, instead of eight colors, it looked like it had either 12 or 16 colors so i think this is a consolidated version of it but that could be a total lie um and if it is i apologize i'm not doing that to be a liar i'm just that's what it looked like on the website at three in the morning when i was uh, perusing my app but this is what the colors look like you have a very nice variety um i actually don't really see this being seasonally a palette that i would choose like for the winter months not that that's a bad thing. I think I would have probably chosen one that had a little bit more of like the berry tones and a couple more of just wintry looks. I don't know how to explain that. That could make no sense to anybody but me in my head. But um, it's not that it's not a pretty palette. It's just not really aesthetically what I would associate with like November, but that's not a bad thing. I'm really happy that I got it. I'm very happy with it. Uh, this one is not broken, so good job there. But yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie. I've been really, really critical, really critical of BoxyCharm the past few months. And I uh, absolutely love this box. I do. I think everything that I got was a really high value, a good quality, and I'm not gonna complain too much about it. So without wasting too much more time, I'm gonna go through the, the little card and just see if I can give you guys the price points for each one so we can get an idea for what the box is worth. 
because as you know, last month my box retail value was only $103 and they're promising $125 in value for each box now. We have the Domini Cosmetic Celestial Thunder Eyeshadow Palette, which they're retailing at $35. I probably wouldn't pay $35 for that palette, but I could see it being priced at that, if that makes sense. The Juice Beauty Stem Cell Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Eye Treatment was a $50 retail value, so I, I overpriced it a little bit, but still, that $50 price point is way higher than I would pay for it normally, so. Uh, the Dose of Colors Liquid Matte Lipstick is an $18 value. The Illuminati Cosmetic Sponge is a $21 value, which, um, beauty blenders are $20, so I probably wouldn't pay that for it, but if that's what they want to price it at, okay. And then the Milk Makeup Holographic Stick is $28, which once again, I think that's actually a little bit low. I could see people paying a little bit more for it. $156 is the total value of this box, well above that $125 price point. I honestly feel like this makes up a little bit for last month where I was so incredibly disappointed. Yeah, so overall, BoxyCharm, good job really happy with it. I'm hoping that what they did was take some of the critiques that everybody had, uh, everybody had from the last box, uh, cause I think about 90% of the review videos that I saw on YouTube about the boxy charm from, uh, October was negative. So hopefully they took that into consideration and they, uh, adjusted accordingly. I'm hoping next month we are getting the boxy Lux. So of course, if you guys don't know about that, we already have price locked into our box, our normal box, but it'll be an additional $29, $28.99 on top of that box, the price that we've already paid, and we will receive a very large box that I believe is a, it's valued at at least $300, and I've yet to be disappointed in one of the boxy luxes, and you normally get good stuff, so I'm excited to see what the Christmas time one is going to look like. Uh, hopefully that one will be a nice quality box as well, but like I said, for this month, I am very, very happy with um, the products that we received. And uh, at this point, I would go back to recommending BoxyCharm because uh, yeah, it didn't stink this month. So yay. Uh, I hope you guys liked the video. I really, really like doing subscription boxes. I say it all the time, but I really like it. I think it's a lot of fun. I think you guys think it's a lot of fun. I think everybody's curious. So it's just a, it's just a good time all around, even when it's disappointing. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you hit the subscription, subscription, hit the subscription box, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you guys are notified every time we post a new video. We would love to have you in the Dark Angel family. And uh, yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with the dark twist.